social media a group of applications that facilitates the creation and exchange of user generated content over the internet has taken the world by storm revolutionizing the way we communicate as a society including in the medical and healthcare community where the sheer range of medical and healthcare related information is prominent social media such as weblogs internet forums online podcast and social networking applications and sites for example facebook twitter and instagram are all about speeding up and enriching communication leaving behind the old model of one to one communication that is talking to another person over the phone and enabling communication from one to many for example blog posts tweets or many to many during the this public health emergency time and we made it a point that everything that we will communicate through our social media channels will be user friendly and has relevance for the community that we serve in india during the lockdown time the communities that we serve the communities that we work with was greatly impacted by the pandemic covid-19 there was country wide lockdown in and people stuck inside their houses and they were not allowed to go outside because it was very important the lockdown as a public health measure was very important to contain the spread of covid-19 in the country uh, i joined just when the covid-19 pandemic uh, outbreak took place and the nationwide lockdown was declared in india uh we uh, saw this as a very important juncture in our journey as an organization and social media played a huge role in terms of taking us forward on the pathway that we wanted to undertake firstly we wanted to make sure that people knew about the work that we were doing and for that we had to create a lot of content our social media endeavors included capturing a lot of stories from the ground we decided that we would stand shoulder to shoulder with all of our outreach workers and partners that number thousands and made sure that all of the work was displayed to our social media channels that included facebook instagram twitter linkedin etc uh what we tried to do through that was basically to create a lot of hope Uh, because there was so much generosity around generosity not just in terms of money but also in terms of effort that people living with hiv for example were willing to help others who were living with hiv people were willing to stand together in this moment of crisis so it was pretty phenomenal how important social media was in this connecting the dots across the country we at alliance india ensured that there is integration of community voices through mobilization of information and their shared response through the use of various social media videos that not only educated but they also informed the community that we are working with at alliance india from march to june 2020 we could reach out to 254332 people who were connected with us thoroughly throughout this lockdown period through these social media messaging we could reach out to these online audience through various snippets videos and social media memes let's hear some of the community voices who were very much instrumental in bringing out the communication the change that we wanted to bring to the community during the uh, lockdown period and uh, particularly in uh, covid-19 period uh, uh, community has faced a lot of uh, uh, misinformation as well as there are lot of information which was available uh, in the internet in uh, media in social media but they don't know which information is correct and which information is not correct many uh, because we living in a, in a social media ages where the whatsapp forwards are, are more prevalent and uh, it's become very difficult for them to identify which one is a authentic uh, and the real information 
during this uh, period uh, as an organization under the vihan program we have uh, uh, initiate a social media campaign and in the social media campaign there are few objective which we have set up one it's definitely it to uh, provide uh, educate and the scientific information to the community uh, which has a uh, how to prevent how they are uh, like uh, they can save themselves from uh, covid 19 what is a preventive measure they have to take it and mm, definitely uh, along with the covid there are other aspect also for example how they have maintain their adherence levels and how they keep uh, safe uh, from other opportunistic infection many of our uh, community member are a uh, discordant couple so how they can save uh, like uh, they can prevent hiv for through positive prevention as well as uh, they should not feel any demotivated and they should uh, they should engage constructively in their life so uh, keeping this in mind we have initiated several social media campaign to provide scientific and adequate uh, information to them in a very simple manner and very informal manner through uh, some of uh, the social uh, story we have used as a storytelling some of we have used as a as a poster or as a as a uh, like and some of we have shared as a detail uh, uh, article so through this various uh, form uh, the aim was like a very simple everybody should know what is uh, how they can uh, uh, save themselves from covid and how they should uh, maintain a healthy lifestyle with uh, hiv uh, i am living with hiv uh, since 20 years and uh, after getting hiv i had tb twice once i had tb uh, in my lungs and uh, once i faced tb in my abdomen Uh, so i can say i am a tb hiv activist as well and uh, i would say like uh, during the covid uh, the person living with hiv as well as tb survivors as well as tb affected community played a great role uh, to prevent people from the covid as well as uh, they also uh, facilitated to community uh, to maintain their treatment during that period and uh, i would say like uh, that was the phase from uh, 23rd march to uh, we can say till 30th june uh, where the people were in need to access the treatment as well as uh, for other their requirement like food uh, nutrition and uh, their survival of uh, livelihood so uh, being a people living with hiv as a group uh, we uh, put our involvement in the social media for mass awareness along with uh, alliance team along with naco team and with ctt and uh, other partners and uh, i would say like social media played a great role in that because uh, that time uh, only the internet connectivity with the uh, with the people where we can share our problem where we can share our challenges and uh, during that emergency people uh, got messages from here and there and we immediately faced like people needs to get their treatment on time because we don't know how long this covid situation will go on and uh, that was the time like uh, the, uh, it was the emergency situation and i would say like without social media connection we can't reach out to the people and people can't reach out to us so being a community we supported to the community for the tuberculosis treatment for the hiv treatment as well as for covid counseling like how they can uh, prevent themselves from the covid and how they can access their art medicines in their local area and their tb medicine in their local area so without failure of uh, uh, treatment they would uh, not fall in the critical situation during this covid pandemic and uh, i would say there was the incidents like people uh, supported each other in the critical health situation i can give one example from delhi where a colleague was suffering from tb and hiv he got got tested in private facility but uh, he was truck driver and uh, at that emergency moment uh, his contractor was run away he was not touching him and he left him on the road side and there were the people who are uh, like uh, looking him as a like a stranger like he was having maybe he was having the covid uh, so we should not touch him and uh, we also facilitated with the community volunteer and other ngo people and our uh, own community people they called ambulance and it took 36 hours to reach that place while that person reached the hospital he died 
so there was lot of people who died due to the uh, like uh, lack of uh, emergency health services and uh, there was a situation when we all people as a community volunteers we were seeking the support from the health providers there was the incidences when we got emergency services with the supportive people there are the uh, facilities like uh, some of facilities in delhi in up where we got the uh, emergency services but the only medium was social media because we can't go there we can't uh, enter in the hospital we can't uh, accompanied uh, with the uh, person living with hiv or tb uh, survivor so that time that medium was only social media where we stand for the community and the community stand for their community social media has played very much important role for all of us and specifically for lgbtq community because earlier lgbtq community was having uh, uh, applications those are those are uh, like uh, cruising uh, um, applications uh, for example grinder tinder panatomio blue whatever it is but right now they shifted towards uh, the important Uh, uh social media applications for example uh, uh they came up on uh, zoom call they came up on uh, uh google meet they came up on skype and uh, uh, meet uh, these kind of uh, application they are utilizing right now what we have done as community leader or as implementer of the program we invited and we trained it trained our community people on those kind of applications we have trained them on whatsapp on call that you can you can go to play store download this application and then you can create a room how to create a room how to play around uh, this application this we have done uh, during the covid period and right now we are having so many meetings over uh, skype over zoom over uh, google meet hang out so uh, i think i think personally i have conducted so many sessions during the lockdown period and uh, instagram is also important we have we, we went live on instagram we went live on facebook earlier which we were not doing it but during the covid period we have done this medium of um, social media whether it is whatsapp whether it is facebook or whether what it is emails um were effectively used because that was the only means of communication there was only means of contacting people there was the only means of like letting people know what are the services that that that, are, that is being available and where where they can actually uh look for so um here um the the message that i want to actually give very clearly is that like you know until and unless if we do not involve the community in delivery of the services whether it is um, uh, planning whether it is execution of uh, of of the of the implementation and ensuring that the services are uninterrupted and people have access to access to services is only possible when uh, when we involve the 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 community um even though there were travel restrictions um what we have also learned is that community can go up to an extent of where they speak to the the local law enforcement uh, senior officers to get a uh, travel pass uh, and they have you know travel um to places wherever they were demanded or where wherever they were uh, you know asked to come and deliver the uh, services so uh, th- this shows very clearly that the the commitment of the um, of the members of the drug using community uh, when it is needed most um they are they are there they are available whether it is night whether it is day whether it is you know rain sun sign you know whatever uh, that 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 is there but then the the, the members of the state drug user forum has ensured that the services are being provided um to people who who need it most um but uh, what i'm saying here is that like you know uh, that we are not able to provide services to uh, all pe- all the drug users this are limited number of people who have access to us or who have contacted the 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 drug using community uh, that also with a very limited um, funding 
and this funding actually came from um, none other than the uh, community itself. Um, the community-based organizations, there are a couple of community-based organizations and there are individuals, uh, like-minded individuals who would like to support uh, for the cause. And uh, the, the organization that I work with uh, um, is, um, have also managed to mobilize um, other essential items like uh, PPE kit or, uh, you know, rations or food or, you know, whatever people actually need as an emergency services. We were able to mobilize and we were able to send it to the state and the State Drug User Forum had, uh, you know, distributed those um, items according to the their their assessment so speaking about how social media has uh, been a kind of significant role that has been played in terms of in terms of strengthening response to covid-19 scenario firstly i'd like to share that it really served the purpose of strengthening inspiration and motivation of our field workers how the kind of stories that we have actually you know uh, published through the social media so that that a very touching kind of story is how the field workers are actually you know work uh, on a war footing going to the field and and, and providing the services in the in the hard uh, places hard to reach places during such a difficult situation of you know national lockdown and especially in the containment zones and all so the kind of hardships that stories are publicized it really reaches out to the other other um, you know uh, people who are also in the same scenario and not only in one particular state but across the countries uh, we specifically work for uh, the marginalized community of people who use drugs uh, with the onset of the covid-19 and the uh, consequent lockdown uh, it created a big issue for uh, for the community that we work for specifically in terms of uh, them getting access to life saving medicines um, uh, medication, life-saving uh, needle syringes, um, uh, ART, as well as uh, OST. One of the platforms that we used uh, specifically to ensure that uh, we could uh, that uh, to ensure that the community that we work with gets access to uh, the medication, life-saving medication that they require, uh, as well as other health services, uh, including food ration, was social media. We were able to utilize a uh, social media platform in terms of spreading awareness talking about uh, the vulnerabilities or the increased vulnerabilities of uh, people who use drugs, uh, their sex, sex partners, as well as, uh, as well as youth and women who use drugs. We were also able to highlight the plight of, uh, uh, of people who were locked up in prisons, which also makes it much more, uh, as a close setting, makes it much more riskier for a person to uh, be more susceptible to getting the COVID-19 infection. Uh, we were able to use WhatsApp groups or even uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, platforms like that to spread awareness of first the work that we were doing and to uh, engage with uh, non-traditional stakeholders like religious leaders or individuals who were able to then contribute towards uh, getting uh, donation for uh, in terms of food ration, uh, PPE kits, hand sanitizers, even uh, basic uh, commodities like sanitary napkins for uh, for women during the covid-19 crisis we felt that tv control program in india took a back turn it was hit hard because the entire focus in the country was on controlling the spread and transmission of covid-19 virus in india we felt that this kind of attitude where a particular disease is hitting a control program of a disease which is very important that is TV it is not that we would see that happening in this country that's why we started sharing different sort of video messages memes and all sorts of awareness messages on TV which were initially developed by the Central TV Division Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India. We had also signed a memorandum of understanding with Central TV Division so that we can together as two entity, two organization work together for spreading awareness and our target was to reach a long 
strata of population where they they would have an understanding on the prevention measures of tb where they will have an understanding on how to get the medications if they they are uh, contracted with the disease so all sorts of messages that we shared on our social media channels helped us to spread a kind of environment where knowledge sharing was focus this kind of knowledge sharing through our social media channels helped us to increase uh, a common understanding about this disease that is very important and was somehow missing among the masses that we are serving especially for the community that we work with for people who use drugs for transgender and hijra population it was very important that they do not undermine the importance of prevention of tv and how to protect themselves during this crucial time of covid-19 where everyone was talking about covid-19 but nobody was talking about tuberculosis nobody was talking about malaria and other infectious disease which are also equally important and they should be looked after in alliance india we took cognizance of this situation and we started sharing all these crucial messages prepared by central tv division and our development partners on our social media channels let's see some of these crucial messages that we shared on our social media platforms TB report 2019 published by the World Health Organization reveals that countries are making progress about 7 million people are reported to have been reached with quality TB care in 2018 up from 6.4 million in 2017 in addition TB related deaths dropped from 1.6 million in 2017 to 1.5 million in 2018 However, TB remains the top infectious killer worldwide with 10 million people falling ill from with TB in 2018. 7 million people were reported to have been reached with quality TB care in 2018 up from 6.4 million in 2017. In addition, TB related deaths dropped from 1.6 million in 2017 to 1.5 million in 2018 however tb remains the top infectious killer worldwide with 10 million people falling ill with tb in 2018 across the world tb is one of the leading causes of death among people living with hiv dissemination of information related to tb symptoms treatment and services can play a key role in the early detection of tb and saving lives towards this goal goal 
we partnered with the Central TV Division, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India to spread awareness on TV. Awareness messages are based on the following like with a timely diagnosis and treatment with first line antibiotics for 6 months, most people who develop TB can be cured and onward transmission of infection curtailed. The number of TB cases occurring each year and thus the number of TB related deaths can also be driven down by reducing the prevalence of health related risk factors for TB for example smoking, diabetes and TB infection, providing preventive treatment to people with a latent TB infection and taking multi-sectoral action on broader de determinants of TB infection and disease, for example poverty, housing quality and undernutrition. All social media messages were thoroughly shared on various WhatsApp groups having a huge number of members which helped us to amplify our response further to a wider audience. The wider voice of the key population that we catered to was disseminated through our social media channels. The messages ranged from the struggle that they were facing because of the lockdown imposed in India, lack of transportation system hindering them to receive medications and essential healthcare services. We also shared stories on how to how the national lockdown made things difficult for people who use drugs as they faced severe problems and barriers to obtaining life-saving medications for example buprenorphine, methadone and ART and obtaining services from needle syringe, syringe programs contributing to increased incidence of HIV, SCV and drug overdose. Through our response, we could save 65 people from overdose related death. I am a TB survivor. I uh, had lymph node TB, in fact, twice. Um, and as a survivor, I know the importance of you know, uh, the community um, relating to people who have also gone through similar experiences and sharing of information. So uh, in the recent COVID times, our communication team took an um, approach to educate and to spread awareness uh, about TB, HIV and uh, related diseases uh, which were amplified during uh, COVID crisis. Um, and also in Alliance India, we have partnered, uh, partnered with uh, CTD to disseminate information and awareness about uh, uh, TB to promote you know, adherence of uh, treatment and also uh, to, uh, to normalize uh, the disease so that you know sometimes the stigma attached to it intensifies and uh, poses a lot of challenges for people. So uh, we have been striving to create uh, that kind of supportive environment for people who are suffering or living with the TB. And I would say there is a great role of uh, Central TB Division and NACO who stood up in that emergency movement with the community. Because whenever we message immediately, we got the responses and it was very positive and it was very hopeful that time. As much as help we get from the uh, administrator side and from uh, uh, like uh, health provider side, it was grateful. And the role of civil societies and networks, it was also uh, very significant. Because I would say without community, we can't stood up in that pan pandemic situation. Because uh, being a person living in the H HIV and uh, TB survivor, I would say like I was seeking my ART, how I, can, how I can go to the ART center. I could not go. So I contacted my doctor. He said, uh, you can just send your number. We will uh, dispatch your ART at your doorstep. Similarly, we also facilitate for the people. People who are not get, uh, getting the treatment in Delhi, who are belongs from other state. And I remember thousands of people who approaches me like from Bihar, UP, Karnataka, uh, Punjab or every corner or even foreigners were there uh, who belongs from the uh, international countries and they stuck in India. So we facilitated through private facilitator, through government uh, health providers and we um, ensure that they should uh, get their treatment at time. 
so it was a great connection and it was very very uh, significant involvement of the community through social media and i would say like alliance also played a great role in that sense because uh, alliance india team through communication uh, platform uh, they shared a lot of awareness information for the tb as well as covid and we created like different different group of uh, people and uh, we linked with the google meet uh, platform and we did session of the awareness for tb for covid for hiv and treatment adherence so as we all know like hiv treatment is a uh, life saving treatment and it should it should go on for life long it should not uh, break uh, down in between because if we uh, lost our treatment or dropped our treatment in between it may uh, lead the viral load uh, increment in our body so that viral load should not increase uh, if we are maintain adherence and we are taking our continue art treatment so that condition was a very emergency condition that time for the community and alliance india team ncpi team naco team and other stakeholders team played a great role through this uh, community connection which we made through whatsapp group which we made through uh, video calls through whatsapp which we made through uh, by sharing the case studies because i remember that was the time there was a cyclone in west bengal there was a cyclone situation in the odisha and bihar there was a flood situation where the people stuck and they were seeking support for their treatment to regularize that and we realized that important and our field worker and outreach worker through care and support program vihan and through um, other programs they reached to those uh, people who are uh, in the critical situation who were in um, emergency situation due to the flood and they uh, pull out them and i also remember there was the incidents where the people uh, affected and infected with the tb that time in their families and they are seeking support for the nutrition because the medicine needs uh, nutrition also as well because if we are taking the tb medicine it needs proper food so our people also facilitated uh, to distribute food at their door step similarly for art we need proper food if we are taking that treatment uh, twice in a day or once in a day so we ensure that people who are in need for the food and nutrition support we provided them uh, with the support of other ngo partners and uh, other uh, local donors and we ensure that uh, plhiv as well as tb survivors should not die without food or without treatment mental health crisis was one of the major concern during the covid-19 time people were locked inside their houses they could not go outside their homes because country wide lockdown was imposed all kind of movements were restricted throughout the country and people were stuck to their houses how long will they watch movies how long will they watch news and if you see the uh, news channels and uh, if you read the newspapers everywhere there was a kind of crisis like situation a mood was created where everyone was doing as if the world is going to end but covid-19 crisis the covid-19 pandemic that is spread all across the world we could hear news and information from various parts of the country that certain countries the spread of the virus is increasing in india the spread of virus is increasing in these and these many states and people the ordinary people the common masses who were sitting inside their houses who were left unemployed because they were thrown out of their companies thrown out of their organizations they had this desire in their heart they had this kind of a kind of fear psychosis was there in their heart where they were feeling hopeless about their future what will happen in the future what is going to happen about our employment what is going to happen about the the normal uh, laborers that they were working in factories the people who were working in various industries manufacturing marketing and sales 
all had hit hard during the COVID-19 crisis and the major problem was the looming unemployment across youth in the country. There were uh, people were thrown out of their jobs, people were uh, thrown out of their industry, people were thrown out of their organization, people were thrown out of their various workplaces which had set a kind of void in their heart and this kind of void in their heart had created a mental health crisis throughout the country. At Alliance India, we felt that tapping on this crisis, tapping on this component of this COVID-19 crisis is important. That's why we also shared positive messages on how to live your life during COVID-19 times. Some of these messages focused on how you need to talk to somebody when you are feeling sad you need to talk to somebody when you are feeling depressed you need to share your concern with your near and dear ones you need to share your concern with your family members and as a society it was our responsibility that we feel united in our fight against covid-19 covid-19 is was one of the one of those crises which the world had faced after a decade or after several years this kind of crisis has come to the come to our plate and during that time creating uh, in an environment where people are more positive people have positive thinking so we also focused our messages on on positive things that people can do we also encourage people to try out their hobbies during the lockdown period where you can't go out of their houses we we propagated messages on how you can work on your hobbies your areas of interest during this covid-19 crisis and mental health condition of especially those people who have who had lost their job who were uh, who are used to going out who are used to going out and interacting with the society at large had hit very hard they were not able to understand what would they do during this covid-19 crisis time so some of them resorted to uh, some taking up or picking up some of their hobbies that they they didn't get time during their normal day-to-day -day routine normal their in normal work style and this covid 19 time some of them some of the people who were locked inside their houses they also tried out hobbies like cooking drawing painting and etc but all these things are very important when you are going through a crisis and we tried to share those messages which are positive which helps you in completely uplifting your soul uplifting your happiness level and our messages were tapping on this happiness quotient that is very important um, uh, a lot of community uh, was going through the depression and mental health issues during the covid period and what we have done is, uh, we have one organization called Shan Foundation, which is based in Jalandhar, Panjab. And they have, uh, they have organized uh, their committee uh, to address mental health issues. And they, they have, I think they were having around seven um, counselors over there. And they were uh, uh, giving counseling to the community people, uh, specifically for LGBTQ community people. And they were addressing all those uh, the, uh, issues. And they had around they had checked around uh, their uh, mental health issues and all kind of things and they have linked community people for uh, uh, more and uh, bigger things uh, which we were having in uh, our mind for example somebody is suffering from the depression the hardcore depression so they have referred community people there uh, to the government hospital and to the other uh, facility providers all social media messages were thoroughly shared on a various whatsapp groups having a huge number of members which helped us to amplify our response further to a wider audience the wider voice of the key population that we catered to was disseminated through our social media channels the messages ranged from the struggle that they were facing because of the lockdown imposed in India, lack of transportation system hindering them to receive 
medications and essential health care services. We also shared stories on how to how the national lockdown made things difficult for people who use drugs as they faced severe problems and barriers to obtaining life-saving medications, for example, buprenorphine, methadone, and ART, and obtaining services from needle syringe, syringe programs, contributing to increase incidence of HIV, SCV, and drug overdose. Through our response, we could save 65 people from overdose-related death. Uh, the, <clears throat> the challenges, what I meant was, um, drug users were um, arrested um, uh, randomly uh, initially when the COVID pandemic uh, started because they were also uh, looking out for, uh, for drugs. So it was an easy target for uh, police to actually arrest them. Not only police, but then also the, um, the uh, local uh, pressure groups or the student groups uh, that I would say. Uh, which made it more difficult for um, uh, for for our community, uh, but then um, in between um, these uh, OST services, which uh, that we were advocating for uh, almost almost about eight to ten years now, that take home uh, doses should be available. So it was actually a blessing in disguise uh, for uh, for drug users that NACO had issued and advisory that the OST should be provided uh, for at least one week and uh, depend this this uh, the state um, um, you know implemented this advisory according to the need of the state some states they have uh, given one week some states they have given two weeks so you know it was something uh, good for the uh, for the community but um, said that, um, the whole focus was on um, on, on OST and uh, the other essential services like uh, needle syringe exchange program or needle syringe program was I would say uh, neglected up to a very um, you know a serious um, uh, position where I would say that people were not uh, able to access clean needle and syringes. And this is um, um, the um, stories, this, this is, these are the information that we have got from our uh, peers who are, in, who are currently uh, using. Um, and adding to, um, to the already existing uh, stigma and discrimination of people who use drugs, uh, we, as we already know, it's uh, you know sometimes it's a double stigma, sometimes it's triple stigma because of um, you know people getting infected with HIV, people getting infected with hepatitis, um, death related with overdose, uh, and it has the COVID pandemic has also kind of compounded that uh, stigma and discrimination. Um, so it it became more uh, challenging for drug users to actually. Uh, you know, um, look out where they could access uh, services. Uh, but during this time, uh, what we have also seen, and uh, it is uh, quite evident now that the uh, the drug using community, where all the drug using members of the state drug user forum, were in the forefront of providing essential services, ensuring that the uh, people have access to OST, people have access to ART, people have access to needle and syringes, even up to the extent of delivering it to their, to their doorstep. So this is something that, uh, that what we have learned is that the, if we involve the community um, in providing uh, services, um, it, it, uh, it reaches to uh, nooks and corners where the other service providers are not able to um, provide uh, services. Even during the Ebola crisis in 2014 and Zika outbreak in 2015, it was seen how social media helped the emergency health organizations to establish active communications with the community and then apply that knowledge to bring improvement in public health. Similarly, social media continues to play a vital role in informing, connecting and catalyzing community action. COVID-19 
continues to be a threat to public health this is the first time in almost 100 years that the humankind has experienced a pandemic of this scale and the society at large has started understanding social media's ultimate role